Oh, hey there. Good to see you again. Welcome back to the Bite Size Tutorial Series for 3D FPS. Previously, we set up our stage for the game. This time, we will be making the character camera. All set? Okay, open up your project in Godot. First, we will add the player. Click the plus icon on top to create the new scene. Click on other node, then search for kinematic body. Select the red kinematic body, then press create. Rename the node to player. Head up to the plus icon and search for mesh. Then click the mesh instance. Clicking the mesh dropdown, let's select the capsule mesh. Clicking the capsule will display its other properties. Let's set the radius to 0.5. Then scroll down to transform and set its X rotation to 90. Bodies in the dough needs collision shape to collide with curled objects. So click the player node then add a collision shape. On the drop down, select capsule shape, then click it to expand the properties and set its radius to 0.5 also. Then scroll down to transform and X rotation to 90. We will use this later on the series. Next, we will create a spatial node that will be holding our camera. Let's rename it to cam holder. Then while highlighting the cam holder, we will add a camera node. Repositioning it so it will be at head level. Now our player setup is finished. Let's save it. Again, for organizing purposes, let's create a new game folder named game object. Then inside, create another naming it actor. Finally, inside it, we'll create another folder named player. Then, let's save here. Now, we will be coding the camera script. While still highlighting the root player node, press the add script icon and leave the setting as is. Then, hit create. Let's clean up some comments here. First, let's add our mouse sensitivity variable. This will control the speed of mouse movement in game. Then on our ready function, we will add the mouse capture code. This code will make the mouse cursor always at center and hide it. Next, adding the input function will tell the game if a player press any inputs. Inside, we will add an if statement to tell the game if we move our mouse. Type in the code that rotates the player when we move our mouse horizontally. Degtorad converts our degree to Godot radians. Event that relative that x is the movement of our mouse horizontally. We added the negative to make it inverted. Then multiplied by mouse sensitivity and save it. Let's test it out. Go back to the sandbox scene then click the 3D to go to the 3D scene. Clicking this icon will add an existing scene. We will add the player scene. Let's adjust it a bit. Then click the play icon. Now, we will select the sandbox as our main scene. Navigate to the sandbox location, select it, then it will run the scene. Now, we have our horizontal mouse. Let's go back to the script and add the vertical movement. On the vertical part, we will just be moving the cam holder. Referencing the cam holder node, then we will be manipulating the cam holder's X rotation. Then, testing it out. Nice. We have... Oh wait. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 that was creepy. Don't worry, we have a code that stops the character from being possessed. We will just be clamping its value so it wouldn't go higher or lower than the value we have set. Now, we have a normal player neck. Great job! We made the first part of our character. On the next part, we will add the character movement. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon. And hey, leave a like so the YouTube algorithm can recommend this tutorial series to other aspiring game developers. Until then, take one step at a time, and cheers!